We've had a call that says somebody's been outside with a gun. Obviously, that's why we're here doing what we're doing now. The easiest way for us to deal with this is for you to come out one by one, nice and calmly. Coming out slowly, you come in when you get killed. You hear that? You come in one of you gets killed. Gotcha. It's the worst case scenario. Any shots fired at a police officer. First thing that goes through your mind is, that's my colleague. Are they safe? Am I responsible? There's a male on the balcony now, she's a red gun, which is like he's holding some sort of gun. Yeah, he's about five years, the male is directly above me now, he's holding out a long barrel sniper rifle out the window. Nice oh, excuse to sit in outside the rain for me. Yeah, do that I've been shot at. I've been shot at. He's just discharged the rifle. Oh. Is everyone OK in there? Let's go. Subject and it's discharged the firearm. The police officer will come back and round has gone through into the uh, interior of the vehicle. Where's your car been hit? Oh. But it's not, you know how a gas-powered one, you don't really hear it. This one's made an actual noise, a loud pop and a spark from it. That's too too, isn't it? Yeah. It's too too long. And then as I've looked up to see if it's a point now, I can see the rifle just point straight down at me and pop. We heard the discharge, we heard the pop. That's what I mean. The victim of the shooting is now signed off duty and gives his statement to the investigating officers. So, right from the beginning, yeah. So yeah. I was given the job of stay downstairs on the outer cordon. Uh, ensuring the safety of the local officers. A call has come over the air to say a male has walked out onto a balcony and is pointing what looks like to be a, a long-barreled um, rifle. Um, so I've gone back to my vehicle and looked directly above me. I did, I believe, saw a muzzle flash which happened at the end of the rifle. Working with firearms, etc., I've heard gunshots, so I knew, I knew the noise of a gunshot. I've spoken to my colleagues today, firearms officers, and very experienced um, firearms officers, and they've all told me that I'm very lucky to be sat here today. Your mind's a wonderful thing. It plays tricks on you and sort of replays things differently after a period of time. People might think, well, you're fine, you've walked away from it, you've got no injuries. But it's the what-if. Did you w went home um, and talked to your, your, your partner about it? Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest with you. That was quite. That was quite difficult. Um, she feels very proud of, of me and the, the, the incident that happened. But while she was happy, she was angry at the same time, and angry that I've gone to work and been put in this position. She told me that I need to leave the job. It's really hard to process because if I've been stabbed, I'd have an injury. Yes. You know, I've got a physical injury that I can say this is what's happened to me. That's just you know, I've got nothing to show for it, and I've. I've managed to walk away from it. Well, good girl.